Welcome all to Opening of the Seals, the Book of Truth, given by heaven and our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, through the last prophet on earth, Maria of Divine Mercy. Only the Lamb will be the one who will open the seals, and I shall read from his book that is available free to download in 40 languages at www.thewarningsecondcoming.com. I dedicate this to my wife and many like her that I do not like to read. This is the 121st reading. Even the warning will not convert all the non-believers. Sunday, March 25th, 2012, 1530 hours. My dearly beloved daughter, today I urge all of my followers to devote their time to pray for those who do not believe in me, Jesus Christ, or eternal salvation. These souls are close to my heart and are the ones who need to be converted so that they can be saved first. Those who are blind cannot see that their life does not end on earth. Many do not accept that they will exist for eternity. These souls wound me deeply, and I feel fe terror as I watch them destroy the life in their souls in this life on earth. Even the warning will not convert many of them who proclaim to be atheists. Their only salvation is through the prayers and sufferings of victim souls. I urge you to pray for these souls through this crusade prayer number 41 for the souls of non-believers. O oh my Jesus, help your poor children who are blind to your promise of salvation. I beseech you with the help of my prayers and sufferings to open the eyes of non-believers so that they can see your tender love and run into your sacred arms for protection. Help them to see the truth and seek forgiveness for all their sins, so that they can be saved and be the first to enter the gates of the new paradise. I pray for these poor souls, including men, women, and children, and urge you to absolve them of their sins. Amen. Go now, my precious army, and focus on my poor lost children. Help me, your Jesus, to save their souls, your beloved Savior, Jesus Christ. Virgin Mary, ask my children to do one day of fasting on Good Friday to prevent one world currency. Tuesday, March 27, 2012, 1800 hours. My child, your suffering, along with other chosen souls, will intensify during Holy Week. This is the week where the deceiver will hurt as many of God's children as he can through wars, persecution, and violence. It is at this time that he inflicts great suffering, just as my precious son and endured during his passion on the cross. My child, you must tell all those who have encouraged souls everywhere to recite my Holy Rosary every Friday up to Easter that I am most pleased. The souls they are saving along with the suffering of their own nations will all be, are all being helped through these devotions. The love of my son is being felt now by more people all over the world at a time of great suffering. He eases their pains with his special graces and soothes their souls by the power of the Holy Spirit. Children, your prayers, which are so lovingly presented by you in the heavens, are being heard. You must seek the help of my Son and my Eternal Father at all times. Every single prayer, no matter how small, is heard and answered according to the will of God the Most High. 
my child, ask my children to do one day of fasting on Good Friday to prevent the one world currency from being introduced. Your prayers and fasting can do this. As soon as this prayer is said during your fa fast, my Eternal Father will stop these people from inflicting the atrocity they are, plan they are planning so that they can control you. These same people want to abolish Christianity, so it is important that you stop this from happening through special sacrifices. Crusade Prayer Number 42 Prayer of Fasting to Stop One World Currency O God Most High, I offer you my gift of fasting so that you can stop the grip of evil in the world being planned to starve your con my country of food, including the bread of life. Accept my offering and listen to my pleas for other nations to prevent them from the suffering being planned by the Antichrist. Save us, dear Lord, from this wickedness and protect our faith so that we, are, we can honor you with the freedom we need to love and adore you forever and ever. Amen. My child, one day of fasting on Good Friday will bring much freedom to nations from the evil one and those who follow his wicked desires to control the finances, finances of all nations. Your beloved mother, mother of salvation, mother of God. Jesus reveals details of his crucifixion, Thursday, March 29, 2012, 13, 15 hours. My dearly beloved daughter, my time for more suffering will come about as my passion on the cross will be commemorated. No man understands the extent of my suffering during my crucifixion or the way in which I was scourged. My scourging was the worst. I was beaten savagely by ten men, and every inch of my body was slashed. The flesh on my back was torn, and my shoulder blades were visible. I could barely stand, and one eye was bruised and crushed. I could only see through my left eye. By the time they took me before Pontius Pilate and placed the crown of thorns on my head, I could barely stand up. They then stripped me bare before placing a short red garment over my head and then placed a palm branch in my right hand. Each thorn was like a needle, a sh so sharp was it. One of these thorns also pierced my right eye, which left my, me barely able to see. I lost so much blood that I vomited and was so dizzy that when I began to ascend to Calvary, I could not hold the cross. I fell so many times and that it took hours before I reached the top of the hill. I was scourged and whipped every step of the way. My body was so bloody all over and covered with the thick sweat produced by the scorching sun. I fainted a few times. Such as this was, much as this was painful and agonizing, the most frightening of all was the hatred shown to me, not just by the adults along the way, but by young children who kicked me because they were falling their parents' example. The screams that poured out from their mouths and the hatred was nothing compared to the fear they had for me. Because behind it all, they were still not sure whether or not I was, in fact, the Messiah they were waiting for so long. It was easier, therefore, to hate me, denounce me, rather than accept me, for that would have meant that they would have to have had to change their ways. My most agonizing moment was when I laid on the ground 
on my side, having been kicked in the back again, and saw my beloved mother looking at me. She was heartbroken and had to be held up by two of my disciples. I could only see her through the one remaining eye, and I could not bear to watch her torment. The jeers, screams, and roars from the crowd of hundreds could be felt from the ground I laid on, and it took six hundred soldiers to organize and supervise the crucifixion of myself and six others. I was the main focus of their attention, and the others did not suffer like I did. When my wrists at the base of my thumbs were nailed to the cross, I could no longer feel. My body was so battered and bruised that I had gone into shock. My shoulders were dislocated, and my arms were torn out of their sockets. The worst physical damage was inflicted on my body before I was nailed to the cross. I let out no scream, no protest, only a whisper. This infuriated my executioners, who wanted a reaction to satisfy their lusts. I never engaged with them, for to do so would have meant that I would have to had to engage with Satan and his demons, who infested their souls. This is why their vicious viciousness towards me was so intense. I was hanging on the cross for five hours. The sun was scorching without clouds to help reduce the burning of my skin. As soon as I took my last breath, my father sent forth black clouds, as well as thunder and lightning. The storm that took place was of such a frightening magnitude and so sudden that my, spectators, my, my, that, <coughs> that my spectators were left in no doubt at that stage that I was indeed the Savior that had been sent by God the Father. I reveal this to you, my daughter, as a gift to you in return for the huge act of suffering you have offered me. Tell my children that I do not regret my passion on the cross. What I do regret is that my sacrifice has been forgotten, and that so many deny that my crucifixion took place. Many have no idea as to what I had to suffer, as many of my apostles did not witness my climb to Calgary. Calvary. What hurts me today is that so many deny me still. My appeal to you, my followers, is do not allow my crucifixion to go to waste. I died for all sins, including those committed today. I went, I want and I need to save even those who deny me even today. Your blessed Savior, Jesus Christ. I beg you, do not crucify me again. Friday, March 30th, 2012. 1500 hours. My dearly beloved daughter, it is important that all of God's children understand why I died to save the world from eternal damnation. Satan has reigned in the hearts of mankind since the fall of Adam and Eve, and this has meant that he has successfully stolen souls. Most of humanity would not accept the word of God, especially the commandments given to them by Moses. It was then, I was then sent to ensure that humanity was given the truth in the hope that the world would accept this and turn back to the Father. While many did not accept my most holy word, the majority refused to accept me as being the Messiah. The truth is that they would not have accepted anyone, including the prophets, because they were content to live in sin, which entrapped their souls. If they had accepted me, 
I would have reigned on earth, and the whole of humanity would have enjoyed eternal salvation. Instead, I was rejected. The Jews, my own people, despised me. The Pharisees looked down on me, yet when they heard my holy word, they could not simply ignore me. This is because my word speak, sparks a light in their souls, which they found hard to dismiss. So they kept coming back to me, again and again, to question me. Today the same is true. Those of you who claim to deny my word, spoken through my prophet, Maria of Divine Mercy, cannot simply walk away. Despite your claims of rejection, you keep coming back again and again. In time, you will accept my word spoken to you today. You must not make the same mistake made by those who not only rejected me, but who crucified me. I beg you, do not crucify me again. Allow me to lead you to salvation by listening to me now, as I call on you from the heavens to prepare you for salvation and my new paradise, your beloved Jesus. Virgin Mary, I am the intercessor. Through me I will bring you prayer, your prayers before my precious Son. Friday, March 30th, 2012, 23.45 hours. My child, you must know that as my son's messenger, messages to you change and reveal events both past and future, that you will be attacked more. My son's holy word will always be rejected by those who refuse to listen to him human opinion is not important. My son's communication to the world at this time is too important to allow those who oppose these messages to delay and divert your work from this, to divert you from this work. Now it is the time for humble reflection on my son's passion on the cross. My children must honor the sacrifice he made for the whole of humanity by making their own private sacrifice for him during Holy Week. Pray, 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 children, for peace in the world. Pray, too, for the protection of the Pope during these times of fierce opposition to the Catholic Church. Prayer, humility, and simple allegiance towards my son is necessary for you to become close to my son's heart. I am the intercessor. Through me I will bring your prayers before my precious son. Through me I will help you to love him more and give him the comfort he needs at this time when the world commemorates his death on the cross. Your beloved mother, mother of salvation. And this ends the 121st reading.